My final vote is for Laura. For tricks, textures, application, and overall, always creative. My final vote is for Laura. The judges have decided, Laura, you have earned the second spot in the finale. I'm just glad that you guys really saw just how hard I work. I really just put my heart and soul into every single thing that I do here. Congratulations. Thank you. It's amazing to see all of these women working together. I really want to change the stigma when it comes to being a female tattoo artist in the industry. I'm here to prove that we can bring innovative ideas to the table. There we go. Laura, for as much as she's like, I can do everything, she's like super irritating. Just for the sake of time, if you guys help me wipe, it's gonna take a lot less time for me to fill this in. Girl, you said you were fast. We're not your assistants. So if I look at the men's, I love that there's so many different styles in there. And then I go back to the women's team. There's just so much more breathability in these designs. They're less cluttered. You know what you're looking at. So I gotta give this to the women's team. I go with the women's team by a hair. <laughs> the judges have decided the winner of the team collaboration tattoo is the women's team. <laughs> Today, you had to demonstrate flawless shading by creating a black and gray tattoo. Laura. Hi. A couple areas of this tattoo show shining examples of great shading where the hair is black and it goes into those eyebrow wrinkles. You've got multi tones, you've got transition from dark to light. That application right there does not exist in the lower part of this tattoo at all. You've got to be able to do what you can do through the entire tattoo. Today, you had to prove your legibility skills by creating a surrealistic tattoo. Laura. The composition and the look of this thing's really cool. I like the way that you put the little light source over the necktie to bring that light coming out of the inside of the man. It illuminates. Those little things make things great. Today, you had to demonstrate contrast by tattooing a neo-traditional animal, Laura. The face is very nice. I like the little gestures you have in the face, but everything away from the head doesn't look strong enough to carry the head. When you're doing cats, exaggerating the paws and the wrists are what give the cats power. Your arms on this are just a little bit too thin. All right, guys, today we're testing artistry and we're judging blind. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. You don't know who did what, and this is completely as brutally honest as can be. Hope you are ready for a long distance ass kicking. Let's take a look at the first tattoo. Oh, that's me. The precision in which that face is put in is really nice. The layout of it's nice. The little ornaments in the hair are nice. Very clean outline, really clean application. Pretty nicely parallel straight lines. In terms of artistry, whoever this is did a really nice job. Yay, Senpai noticed me. You guys want to take a stab at who maybe did this one? Based on cleanliness of lines, killer cam. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Today, you had to prove your consistency by creating a cross-stitch tattoo. As far as creating an image out of cross-stitch, you don't really tell the story. You just showed us a bunch of black X's. But it's definitely very, very clean and well done. OK, artists, you have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. I was nervous when she picked the subject because I knew it was going to be something totally crazy because she's definitely from another planet, for sure. Danny is one of the strongest competitors, not only on the girls' team, but in the entire competition. I was, in my mind, I think, making it more difficult than it was. So to be able to defeat her is going to say a lot about my artistic ability. Ever since I could hold a pencil, I was drawn when I was five, and I just never stopped. That's your calling. You knew it was in you, girl. Today, you had to face off in a head-to-head -head battle. Based on your work, half of you will be up for elimination. Danny and Laura. Laura, you called out a new school alien holding a Milky Way galaxy. I really like this illustration, this application of the shading from the line, multiple tones and shades of color from black to open skin is very, very nice. Anywhere you look throughout this head of the alien, you see the color saturation is equal throughout every tone of color, which is the main thing we're looking for today. Let's take a look at Danny's tattoo. The battle at the drawing table is really close. And as far as how you sculpt this image with the color contouring, you do a great job. It's a killer tattoo. It's an incredible rendering. I'm super impressed for throwing this together, having no concept of what this was going to be. I love this battle. I wish this battle was every week. Me too.
All right, guys, who wins this head-to-head -head face off? In technical application, Laura looks stronger. If I just look at the head versus Danny's, it's just so clean and so meticulous. Laura's application is really stunning. Laura for the win. The winner of the face off is Laura. That means, Danny, you're up for elimination. You have six hours to create a new school tattoo, and your time starts now. How's everyone else doing? Juan is, I think, going to be their biggest trouble. I don't know if he's going to finish today. I think he just overthought it. Oh, shit. I have a plan for my tattoos, but I don't have a plan for this social game that some of the people in this house are playing. Starting up a friendship that could be misconstrued. I feel like I got myself into something that I'm going to have a hard time getting out of. I'm very uh, competitive when it comes to new then school. Then compete against yourself, girl. Be you. Have fun with this tattoo. You did so great with this drawing. Don't stop there. OK. Dude, talk about motivational speeches. Holy shit. No, I want you to have the most fun that you possibly can with this, OK? And this is going to be an amazing tattoo. Laura. The hat on this thing's really, really nice. That soft black rolls into your darker red, boom, pops right out. I also love the fact that the light seems to be illuminating from the martini, like it's some sort of electric cocktail. Another smooth women's team tattoo. High five me. You have seven hours to freehand your tattoo, and your time starts now. All right. All right, brother, let's do it. I'm going to shave you and get your back prepped. Uh, and then I'm going to play with some stuff on your back and see what happens. Today we're testing composition, and this is a perfect way because freehanding something onto the body allows for perfect placement. It allows for flow. It allows for the design to move with the muscle or body part. I wish the tattoo actually felt like this. Yeah, right. It'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? If you're proficient at what you do, you can draw directly on the skin, use that as your guideline, and sail away. I love drawing these things. Dang, girl, you almost done. She is a speed demon. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't have a whole lot of friends. I was just like this weird kid. Drawing was a way for me to escape that reality and put myself in a new one. Nice. I like it. I got the OK. So right. I'm start. <laughs> Laura. Great illustration. The way the tentacles flow and create such a dynamic silhouette. I love the rich darkness of the tattoo in the webbing. That little hit of light purple with the skin break and then coming in with that red really gives that nice iridescent looking feeling for how much tattooing you did. It looks really nice. Thank you. Good job. It is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Today, I think Danny, Laura, those are the two stunners of the day. Those are my two favorites. Danny, you did a beautiful tattoo. It's a great design. I think it's executed really well. My vote is for Danny. Danny, I love this tattoo, but my vote is for Laura. Thank you. You showed a nice flow here, and I just love the color and the detail you put into this thing. I'm going to go ahead and go with Laura. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Laura. And congratulations, Danny. You both turned in great work. Wow. Debate like doing the trim, like these, and like the joints and the eyes all in a different tone metal. You could also do rust. Oh man, that's a cool idea. Instantly, I know what this thing looks like. I'm not surprised at all that Laura is willing to help me out. We both have a lot of respect for each other. You doing my dragon? I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. She doesn't just need to make it bigger. She's gotta fix it. Why don't you look about my dragon? There's a few uh, inconsistencies. Where? The huh? scales. Get rid of these two. Those. Mm. What? You don't like my spikes? No. What? Double up these, make mm. the teeth bigger, double those up, make more hair here. Oh, yeah, it's not even going to look at the same drawing. Mm. Mm. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a line drawing designed by the opposing team. And your time starts now. I like some of the improvements you made. I yes. see where you're going with it. I like it. Yeah. Who's your biggest competition? Oh, uh, probably that Laura girl over there. Yeah. She gets pretty ahead of herself, though. She'll be, like, really stoked to, like, I can do this thing big as Yeah. And she ends up rushing. Laura definitely took some pretty heavy liberties with my tattoo, which I think is really shitty because it's like, I was super pumped on that. Yeah, you went big. Yes, and it's going to keep the integrity of the line, so when it ages, the lines aren't going to blend together and make a mess. To watch her tattoo something that was far and away from what I intended it to be, 
just makes me feel like she thought I did a shit design. You designed a line drawing to take out a member of the opposite sex. But hopefully you didn't dish out more than you can handle. What does that mean? Because each of you must tattoo your own line drawing. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. Thank oh. Jesus. You'll have six hours to tattoo. Your canvases have been randomly assigned. And based on both of your tattoos, one of you will be eliminated. So we don't even get a critique yet. What a twist. Oh, oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, I love them. I love them too. I already told Jason what I would do with my own design. Now I have to tattoo my own design differently from how I would tattoo it. I can't wait till they like put them next to each other. I don't really want to see them side by side. How's Cam doing? Cam's great. Fit all his little scales in like he said he was going to. Proved his point. I don't know if they're going to like that, but it's going to be interesting. Did you change anything from your original design? Not a thing. You can't do scales this small. Just remember, you can't do it. It's impossible. <laughs> In this competition, I really only have one true competitor in Laura, and she actually took my design and tattooed it in a way that I wasn't exactly a fan of. And I really want to basically show her that I'm to be taken seriously as well and tattoo it the way it was intended to be. Smaller, more detailed, and better than she ever could. I think he pulled out the scale, so now they feel stupid. Yeah, and I like how much black you put in. And they assumed it needed to be in color, that's why they thought it needed to be No, that's what I'm saying, and that was stupid on their part. I did the design. It was obviously supposed to be black and gray. Jason, you tattooed Laura's design. You do a great tattoo here. And to take it from that weathered look and then go into the clean hat, which clearly has not been with it its entire life, is a nice touch of detail. Again, you hit it out of the park in your execution. You're competing. Thanks, guys. Wow. Laura. This thing is the best. The style and execution that you have here and the way that you understand how to capture chrome is great. What I get excited about is real soul and real coolness to tattooing. The thing looks amazing. If you choose creepy, Jason, you will not hurt my feelings whatsoever. Thank God I don't have to choose, so they both win. Wow. You chose Cam's line drawing. Did you change the line drawing? The scales, just to kind of keep the integrity of the tattoo so it would age better. It's a great change. That's what traditional dragon scales look like, but there's a lot of anatomy on this that's strange. The horn on the left side is incredibly huge. It throws the rhythm of the dragon off a little bit. It's tough. Man, I thought they were gonna like it. Cam. You tattoo it in a way that makes a lot more sense because you understand what it is that you're doing. I like the way the belly scales look on that. Laura's, with the way it's colored, it does make some of the anatomical things kind of stand out a little stronger. Kim's understanding of what it is that he drew, he was able to shine with his own work a little bit brighter. Thank you. You have six hours to tattoo a cover-up, and your time starts now. Laura. It's a really clean sticker tattoo from you. As far as it's serving for a cover-up, it definitely does its job. As impressive as the tattoo is, I've seen it a bunch of times. But soon enough, you're gonna have to... Oh, I'll give you something else, trust me. I'll send you a letter from the finale. It'll probably be pretty cool there. Good job, Laura. All right, artists, you have seven hours to design and tattoo your canvas. And your time starts now. All right, let's do it. Thank God. Let's rock this. I'm excited, man. I stopped going to tattoo artists because they were just like complete assholes to me. Their work was great, but they were dicks. Last week, I gave the judges yet another alien. So this time, I am not playing it safe. I'm going to go all out. Your color saturation is beautiful. Thank you. I pride myself in my color. So sick. Hmm. What does this mean? Yesterday, you had to impress the canvases by marketing yourselves. But your fight for survival isn't over yet. In this business, the best marketing strategy is a solid tattoo. Because at the end of the day, your art must speak for itself. The canvases will choose their artist based only on your last tattoo and nothing else. Han, Cam, and Laura, your tattoos were not selected by any of the canvases, so you'll not tattoo today. That also means that all three of you are automatically up for elimination. Tomorrow, all of you must face off. And based on your work, one of you will be eliminated. You'll have six hours to tattoo, not one, but two tattoos. The style and subject for both of your tattoos are completely up to you. However, part of being marketable includes being versatile. So both of your tattoos must be in a different style. 
Simple as one black and gray, one color. Simple as one realistic and one traditional. Whatever shows versatility. This guy, you're gonna get a severed woman's head in a noodle bowl. My plan is I want to make two tattoos so ridiculously different from each other that I want it to look like two different artists did them. You're gonna do like realism on that one? Very realistic, but I'm definitely gonna do like blood work over it. I absolutely have to kill this. It's gonna be dope. Laura. Let's talk about your first tattoo. The way that you tattoo the bowl and the little bit of light that you leave in the bowl with the wood grains is beautiful. As far as the layout, the drawing, and really doing something that you can have fun with and show off skill, I think it's a great job. Let's move on to your second tattoo. It's very simple, but yet has a lot of detail, and it's just little tricks. Your ability to go from solid black to barely open skin on the top of the head and the tail feathers is really nice. I really appreciate how far from one side of the spectrum to the other you go on your two tattoos, showing completely different applications. You do great. Thanks. You have six hours to tattoo the back of the neck, and your time starts. Now. Hey, yeah, so far. Dude, it doesn't look anything like a mandala, that's for sure. For the first three years of my tattooing career, I did nothing but mandalas. I will not let myself fail at this. You're black and gray. It's weird. What are you doing? Oh my god. Get the f out of here. <laughs> I'm just jealous that my black and gray is better than yours. <laughs> oh my god, are you trying to make me throw up? If I actually pull this off, he's gonna be so threatened. It's all right, I can tattoo better than these boys even with heels on. Laura. It's really beautiful, it's really delicate, it's really clean. I didn't want to do any fine line detail on the neck, so I recommended doing some sort of flower. Great move. The rich, rich blacks are what really make this thing stand strong. Overall, you get a really nice, rich look. Thank you. Who had the best tattoo of the day? All those lines that Laura did, so spot on and on the money, everything lines up. Laura for the win. My vote is for Laura. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Laura. Thank you. You have six hours to tattoo a traditional illustrative portrait, and your time begins now. She's such a cutie. My canvas wants a portrait of her daughter on her shoulder blade. I'm just making sure it's like super, super clean. I've been excited for portrait day since day one. I'm gonna make it look <laughs> great, just, you know, because it's your daughter. The kid portrait is a difficult ask, but I think the full body one was probably more difficult. And I'm really surprised that Pond gave that to himself. I don't think mine's traditional enough. We'll make it. How do I do that? There's so many factors that come into play specifically with child portraits that you cannot do. You can't put harsh lines on the eyes or anything or else the child can either look like it's wearing makeup or that they're older than they really are. Dude, everyone's doing different stuff. I don't get it. They want what uh, Jason's doing. How am I supposed to do that with a little kid? That was the whole point. Oh, okay. So that's the curveball you guys were throwing me. Yeah. My mind automatically flocks to realism when I do portraits, so I'm still stuck in that mindset. I think I'm in trouble for the first time. To try to completely change that, I mean, I hate to say it, but I might have just found my weak spot. Where I was all, you know, really pumped for portrait day, and I, I don't know what happened. Laura. It is a nice, well-applied tattoo, but it's hard for me to say that this really looks like this girl. The expression on the face, you're not really getting that little tight grin, and her neck looks really wild. The way you have the back of her shoulder and her neck going all the way up to the ear makes her neck enormous. That sucks. The other thing that I really dislike, these black lines you put on her forehead that aren't connected, that are just random black lines there. I know that you're trying to show the suggestive loose hairs, but it's very strange to play. Today, the artist had to survive a tattoo marathon. This is the most nervous I think I've been so far. The time limit, man. Today just shows what you can do under the most pressure in the least amount of time. <laughs> Not great. Let's see how they did. I feel like I'm about to throw up. First up is Danny's illustrative black and gray design. Very simple. You got circles, you got lines. Let's take a look at the first tattoo. This perfect hollow round negative space all the way around the circle of the key doesn't give any dimension. It's just a bunch of light gray that doesn't get super smooth. Ooh. Let's look at all four of the same tattoo together. Number three is the best one, I would say. Yeah, number three. Oh, my God. Now I'm ready to be the bottom of all the rest. If you're gonna win any of them, it's best to win on your own. Yeah, I think so too. 
Next up is Jason's new school design. It leaves a lot open to see what people do. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's mine. What happened to this one? This thing just looks dirty. Why does that yellow stop and go to open skin in the mouth when the eyes are solid green inside? I didn't have the time. Let's take a look at all four of these tattoos together. Tattoo number one's looking better all of that a sudden. That thing looks amazing right now. Two, three, and four. To me, they're all in the same boat. This whole round right here are not good. Damn, my design everybody up. Let's take a look at Laura's new school design. Definitely leaves some interpretation to be done with this line drawing, for sure. Let's move on to the fourth tattoo. There's a lot of problems connecting the tips of all of the points to the mohawk. This mohawk detail on this thing is killing everybody. They need to paint the mohawk one solid color instead of trying to do fades and do all this stuff. It eats the clock. Let's look at all four of the same tattoos. Number one is the bottom. Number two for me, all around, is the top. You won over my design again. Next up is Jake's color neo-traditional design. Lucky dragon's foot, Chris. I like the posture of the claws. Let's look at the first tattoo. Simple color palette is nice. The line work looks smooth. Make it clean and simple. I think that's a smart move. Overall, pretty sharp. Let's compare all four of these. Well, the ones with the right color palette with the strongest, like number one. I'm going to say that Jake did the first one, just because. That's the one that looks like the person that knew what they were doing? Exactly. I don't know. Every single critique went different than I thought was going to happen. Based on your work in the tattoo marathon, no one is safe. You will each have one more chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the finale. Awesome. This competition is about being the best in the room. And in order to win, you must first beat your opponents when they were at their best. For this final face-off, you must tattoo the same style and subject as one of your opponent's best tattoos from throughout the season. Wow. These were your best tattoos. Jason's new school broccoli wizard. Danny's black and gray mystical witch. Laura's new school alien holding a Milky Way galaxy. And finally, Jake's full color plague doctor. Once a tattoo has been chosen, no one else can choose that tattoo. All right. All right, let's reveal the artist with the highest ranking from the marathon. That is me. Which tattoo do you pick? I'm gonna choose Jake's Plague Doctor. It's a style I haven't really shown you guys yet. Like my bird thing. You did the same colors, you shithead. It's a traditional color palette. What do you want from me? It doesn't have to be. I have not done this style before. I might be taking a risk doing this. This is the end of the end. I mean, yeah, no pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure. Since day one in this competition, I've been taking risks. No matter what they throw at me, I'm going to hit it out of the park. Laura. You chose to go up against Jake's full color plague doctor. Laura definitely hits a lot of different details between the wood grain, the leather. I like how saturated the eye looks. I love this design. I love the work you do in the mask and the hat. A lot of rich contrast. With the highlights around the stitching, it does read as if it's leather. This thing is killer. Thank you. All right, judges, time to determine the second artist who's earned their spot in the finale. I love what Laura did. I love all the details. I love all the textures. At the bottom of that tattoo, I see some problems with saturation. It's hard to tell that that's a hand. My final vote is for Laura. For tricks, textures, application, and overall, always creative. My final vote is for Laura. The judges have decided, Laura, you have earned the second spot in the finale. I'm just glad that you guys really saw just how hard I work. I really just put my heart and soul into every single thing that I do here. Congratulations. Thank you. Danny and Jason gave me traditional Japanese, which is a little intimidating. So this is Raijin. He is the Japanese thunder god. How he creates the lightning is he bangs on the drums badass drummer in the sky, you know? It is a style that sometimes takes a lifetime to master. Let's hope this works. I only have a few months. They say that size doesn't matter, but it really kind of does. As a woman in this industry, I feel like I have more to prove. To win the title of Ink Master, that's the ultimate goal. Have a look. That was vibrant. It's 
So I was assigned traditional Japanese and I chose to do Raijin. He's a very powerful ancient thunder god. I always just really loved the look of these big oni demon-like guys and I thought it would just make a really striking, powerful image. It certainly is. Thank you, Laura, have a seat. Man, this is hell of a tattoo. It is strong, the layout is really nice. I love what you did in the center of the belly, how you gave it that light source. The outline is incredibly strong, the color is saturated, and that's why my vote is for Laura. Wow. I gotta say, for me, just swinging out of the park on this biomechanical piece, Danny, you got my vote. Too much. This is one of the tightest finale races we've ever seen. I mean, guys, we're about to crown the second female Ink Master in history. Bold will hold. My vote is for Laura.